Good morning, little champs. How are you all? Hope you all are fine and enjoying your days at home with family and studies. Okay, here we go with the new poem, The Rain on the Roof by Coach Skinny. The Rain on the Roof, poet, Coach Skinny, and it is prepared by Anne Mary, Army Public School, Rani Khet. About the poet, he was born in 1826 near Penye, New York. He was partly educated at Antioch College, Yellow Springs, Ohio, and studied law with Thomas Coven. He became a journalist and worked on papers in Ohio. He was born on 24th November 1826 and died on 25th January 1904. Introduction of the poem the poem Rain on the Roof talks about the poet's varied reactions to the sound of raindrops falling on the roof of his house. He says that the sound of raindrops helps him fall asleep and gives him sweet dreams. He has memories of his loving mother who would put them to sleep. Summary of the poem The poem Rain on the Roof talks about the poet's varied reactions to the sound of raindrops falling on the roof of his house. He says that the raindrops at night are like tears shed by the sad dark night. He loves to lie in bed and hear rain falling on the roof of his room because it gets back sweet memories of the past. He says that the sound of raindrops helps him fall asleep and gives him sweet dreams. He has memories of his loving mother who would put them to sleep. Theme of the poem The theme of the poem is the healing power of rain. The musical sound of raindrops falling on the rooftop at night has the ability to revive sweet memories and rouse fancies in an otherwise busy mind. The rain thus soothes and comforts an overworked mind by taking it back to its lovely past. Now we will go stanza-wise explanation. Stanza 1 When the humid shadows hover over all the starry spheres and the melancholy darkness gently weeps in rainy tears, what a joy to press the pillow! of a cottage chamber bed and to listen to the patter of the soft rain overhead. Summary In the first stanza, the poet describes a rainy night. He says that all the stars of the sky have become invisible because they have been covered by clouds. Darkness usually has a negative connotation and the poet makes no exception to this rule. He says that the darkness is making him sad and reflective and the rain also seems to mirror his emotions as it looks like tears falling softly from human eyes. At this point, the only thing that can bring joy to the poet is to curl up with a pillow in the bed of a country cottage. Though the rooms of the cottage may be small and ill-equipped, the sound of raindrops can only transport him there for him to recover from his melancholic mood. Stanza 2 Every tinkle on the shingles has an echo in the heart and a thousand dreaming fancies into busy being start and a thousand recollections weave their bright hues into woof and I listen to the patter of the rain upon the roof. In the second stanza, the poet describes how the raindrops make the loudest sound as they fall on the shingles of the roof. Each sound that is made by the rain in this way is repeated the next instant by the beating of his heart. The things he has only been imagining now start to appear before his very eyes. As he is listening to the soft and continuous falling of the raindrops on his roof, all his memories are coming back to him. 
but they are not discrete and separated from each other. Instead, all of his memories seem to have formed a patchwork by becoming entwined with one another. Stanza 3 Now in fancy comes my mother, as she used to years ago, to survey her darling dreamers, ere she left them till the dawn. Oh, I see her bending over me. As I list to this refrain, which is played upon the shingles by the patter of the rain. In the third stanza, the poet describes the first memory that he can actually identify among the patchwork that all his memories have formed by meshing together. He remembers how many years ago in his childhood his mother used to look down at him and his siblings as they were sleeping and having pleasant dreams. His mother would make a point to look at them every night for she knew she would not see them again till the next morning. When the poet remembers more than anything is how his mother would bend down and watch over him, in particular, these memories are evoked as he listens to the repetitive rhythm of the raindrops as they are falling on his roof. Now, dear students, in our next PPT, we will discuss the modulation, intonation and the recitation part along with the figure of speech and the poetic device. Go through the poem nicely and take care. Thank you.